We are at uh, one of the springs of the beautiful river Cetina. The name of the spring is uh, Glavaš. Uh, our goal today is to explore and document the state of the, of the spring for the scientific project. This place is just astonishing. Croatia is rich in nature and rich in history. Our team of international divers is getting ready for a dive. We double check every piece of equipment and every detail. Camera, reel, the pocket. Glavash Spring is a place like no other. For the first dive, we do a quick recon. The main pit is almost 120 meters deep. At the depths of 49 meters and 25 meters, we can find two side tunnel entrances. Uh, now we have two divers uh, diving the, the pit of Glavash to the maximum depth of 60 meter using mixed gas. The water is crystal clear with a bit of flow. On this day, we do short dives in both tunnels, plus we film the pit and collect sediment samples. Nice, white and wide. So there is not much flow. Very beautiful color, white, full white it's, color. Yeah, it's always going up, 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 and then there is a, a this air pillow. Or, yeah. How do you want to call that? Yeah, but maybe it's even at the surface level because it was two meters uh, than one. Yeah, yeah it, was, a, it should be on the it surface, be on level. The surface yeah. level. In the future, we plan to map the cave and measure it precisely. We are running a, a scientific project Morpheus, which uh, goal is to explore and, and protect the, the caves and caverns we have in Croatia. The project Morpheus also extended to the sea part, where we are sampling seabed for chemical and biological analysis. Before we arrived in Croatia, it was raining heavily for a full week. Now, the water coming down from the mountains forms a strong flow in the caves. You can easily notice that the underground water is everywhere. When fresh water is mixed with salty seawater, a haloclean is visible all along the seashore. Our team is preparing for another dive. Wackie jaskinie są bardzo zróżnicowane. Dzisiaj nurkujemy w Wielkiej Wruli. Jest to jaskinia, do której wchodzi się od strony morza. Jesteśmy w okolicach Paklenicy. Jaskinia ta zaczyna się na głębokości 53 metrów. Zobaczymy, co się dzieje dalej. This is a heavy, deep dive. The cave is big and the flow is strong. Very beginning when we passed the 58, which is 60, 65, 70. It's more smooth, but wider, higher. And the flow was <laughs> that was the tricky stuff because when you touch down, we are close to the close to the entrance. The cave says no, no way, no way, <laughs> go away from here. It's like a pole. 
With a lot of sediment on the rocks, it is easy to destroy the visibility. When we reach the minimum gas, we tie the line and turn back. After the dive, the team gathers the information and shares some opinions. No, it's... Yeah, yeah, you, you know already... That's the cave direction, the touristic stuff and the, the explorer one. So here you have everything, you just go in, you have a line and you can, you can travel, you can, you can look around, but when you have nothing, you must be really careful with the old people mm -hmm. about the details, but when you trust the team, when you know, yeah, I'm just behind you and if something happens, just turn, yeah, yeah. It, it works much better. W okolicy mamy kilka jaskiń, oprócz Wielkiej Wruli. Najbliższa nam jest jaskinia Modric, nazywana też Black Cave. Bardzo ciekawa, z ciekawymi formacjami, nieco płytsza od tej, również z wejściem od strony morza. For the last dive, we choose the Black Cave. This is a long cave, starting on the seashore. During this dive, we can focus on filming, getting ready for more future work, developing team skills and techniques. Project Morpheus is a long-term program. We will be back here very soon.